welcome back once again to your english class where we have to continue read the or get the explanation of your short story uh, prose that is the sandbox written by edward alby uh, if you remember in the previous class i told you that how he wanted to discuss about the materialistic view or you can say the loss of the traditional values in the american society here also like uh, the stage was i said one act play could be performed on a stage and we have uh, already got the discussion about the five characters one is the old woman mummy daddy and the musician and the young man mummy daddy actually why he mentioned is that he wanted the universal theme for all the people it is not like specifically for a certain type of the people or certain name certain religion nahi he just wanted to make it sure that everybody can relate to it and everybody can understand that what he wanted to convey the message to the people and here the old woman is the mother of whom she is the mother of this mummy so these are the five characters which are being set on the stage so if you as i said earlier in previous class that uh, when you perform on the stage you would be bothered to seen by the audience so here also how they uh, set the stage was also being mentioned very clearly in the starting paras of your lesson the stage was set completely like all the lightings and all lightings is a must thing for the stage because the light can show it as a day and the dim of the lights can show that is the night so here the effects of the light being changed according to the situation of the play or you can say according to the requirement of the play so a stage was there with two chairs facing the audience if they are talking to each other also they have to face the audience these things to be kept in mind always when you are performing a an one act play so here they are not only giving you a message through the complete one act play but how to arrange one act play also to be understood now next is that like uh, they what they, they did is they brought one sandbox a big sandbox or you can say a box is there in that sand is totally filled because they wanted to give a look of the beach where the water and at the side of the water or you can say at the bank of the water we find the sand so they wanted to show the scene of is the scene or you can say uh, the place as the beach so here they have kept a big sand box and one toy pail toys normally the children young children play or the children play with the toys pail is a small bucket pail is a bucket so they have kept one toy pail and a shovel shovel is more or less like a spade a tool with a broad flat blade for moving snow or sand to move the snow or the sand like a spade it can work it out and if you find if you want if you can check it out on the google the image of the shovel you can get it very easily so that is the they have kept what what are the things first is sandbox and in that only they have kept a small bucket and a shovel a small shovel would be there this is the set of the stage on uh, and on that stage first only nobody was there except that this young man this young man was there he was standing near the sandbox he was doing the calisthenics calisthenics separate the word if you get any difficulty in pronouncing any word please first split the word then you can remember the spellings as well as you can able to pronounce it in a better way calisthenics calisthenics is a type of gymnastic exercises and here they are mentioning only like this person was only moving his arms like fluttering the wings just imagine out you have the wings and how do you try to flutter the wings to move the wings in the same way he was moving the arms and this action being given the name as a gymnastic exercise and to give it a one word substitute they have mentioned it as calisthenics 
this person this young man was actually the representation of angel of death okay he was playing a character of the angel of death he was standing near the sandbox i hope you have got an imagination of how the stage was set mummy and daddy enters both the characters they enters and they start talking mummy has said how nice beach is this so you can get an idea that this actually the scene is related to the beach and uh, she has seen that sa sand is too good and daddy started saying that i am feeling cold here because it is too cold and i am feeling like i should have wore something better so mummy was actually just uh, laughing at him like how you are feeling cold it is a beach it is too hot the hottest day is there and that how you are feeling cold she was just making fun of the whatever the sentence he said and while standing there she has checked it out the whole place mummy has said that no though this place is looking good it has water as well as the sand here and one side so now i think this place is better for whatever we have decided they have decided something which we'll get to know later on so she called the musician the next character okay now overall four characters have already entered the young man was already there mummy daddy has entered and this is the next is the musician the musician enters and she said that there was already a music stand was there where he was one chair was already being kept so the musician went there she uh, mother uh, the mummy has said that this is the place go and sit there and start playing your music okay so now i hope you have understood from here to here that how the overall environment has been set they have created the whole ambience for the whatever they have decided for now the next they did both of them mummy daddy they went outside they brought grandma by carrying her from her armpits like putting their hands under her arms and just carrying like a small child and her she her body was totally rigid she was not moving it is not flexible rigid is exactly opposite to flexible when you move when you uh, show the gestures then that is flexibility she is too rigid she is not at all moving her legs were drawn up that means it should not touch to the ground that why that's why it was drawn up and she was looking like a small child she was shrinked and there was a lot of nervousness and fear on her face nervous because she doesn't know what is that happening with her now what mummy and daddy is going to do with her why they have brought up here and what they are going to do she doesn't know that so she has a lot of nervousness and fear on her face and you can imagine the plight of the woman who is 86 year old and she could not like uh, able to convey her thoughts properly because she must have forgotten most of the words whatever she taught to her daughter now she has forgotten mostly so she doesn't know that she doesn't know how to convey her fear and how to talk to the those two people who have brought her here and uh, remember one thing that we talk to the people those who can understand us those who can give response to us you cannot talk to the ones those who never give any response those who are too cold and uh, always uh, like uh, scolding and also how can you talk to that person and how can you convey your thought right now the same situation was there with this grandmother she has been brought and she was getting so many thoughts in her mind but she could not able to ask and she could not convey both of them have decided to look uh, like they were carrying her and they have looked here and there and what to do how to where to keep her so uh, after a few seconds mummy has decided will drop her here where at the sandbox that means they are dropping her at near the sand so they both of them drop her it is not put her putting is in a very soft manner in a very good manner but they have simply dump her dump her or drop her like just to dump anything in the same way they have dump her and they dump her into the sandbox they even don't bother that whether she may get hurt or she may have 
um, got a pain or she whatever it is there she couldn't able to make the noise and that's why they have simply dumped her over that shows their the action shows their carelessness or you can say their irritation towards the grandmother now she tried to sit by herself she wanted to sit on her own she tried her level best but she could not move herself and she was trying a little bit uh, unable to move and all she started making incoherent noise incoherent noise means which cannot be understood like uh, when a small child of uh, below one year when they make some noises and all people enjoy people have laugh and fun like okay that baby may be saying this thing may be saying that thing because they uh, feel love towards that uh, baby and affection towards that baby but here also this is like a second childhood as i said old age so this old woman she is not a baby she can say but she is not able to say so she started making some incoherent noises which cannot be understood and heard by the other persons something like a small baby only and what they have done they simply dumped and when she was making sounds and all they just want to ignore mother uh, this mommy and daddy they sat at the other chairs two chairs were there as i said earlier so two chairs facing the audience were there so on both the chairs they both sat and they started talking to each other like um, we'll have to discuss something about uh, the life and all they were discussing and they don't actually in other manner they just want to ignore the grandma and the noises of her they don't want to listen her so at that time this daddy has become a little bit concerned he asked to mummy like whether she is comfortable or like we have to do something and all so mummy was very much rude very much careless she said maybe she is comfortable i don't know about her let her be there as it is just forget about her that don't look at her don't uh, give any attention to her when mummy like said like this one grandmother started try to started throwing the sand over mummy this is this action shows her you can say anger frustration and you can say bitterness towards her daughter because she was feeling too bad that she was being dumped here by her own daughter and she could not do anything she could not revenge her so she was trying to throw the sand on her when the sand was thrown at mummy she was like it was not directly to her but on her direction she was trying to throw so mummy became angry and she scolded badly uh, to grandmother and uh, even complained to daddy like look how she is throwing sand to me and she scolded very badly to grandmother and said keep quiet don't talk don't try to make noises keep yourself quiet and be there and the next uh, he turned towards uh, she turned towards that uh, musician and ordered him to play the music continuously so if he plays the music loud they could not able to hear the sound of or you can say according to her irritating sound of the old woman so she informed to musician play the sound play the music in a loud manner mother the grandmother was started grandmother started screaming she was shouting she was trying to say something but she could not able to these two mummy and daddy they said to each other especially mummy said to daddy that we will wait here we will sit here we will wait here for what purpose they were waiting they wanted that grandmother to die for making her die or you can say for her death they can't wait at home so that's why they had brought her here on the beach and they just throw her here on the sand box or you can say on the sand of the beach and they were waiting for her death so in meanwhile mummy and daddy has seen this young man who was the angel of death and both of them have waved their hands towards him and they said hi hello only the young man was saying the angel of death was saying hi nothing else he smiles and he say hi and just he continuously doing his calisthenics that means he was continuously showing that he was fluttering his wings but wings were not being shown so to everybody can able to recognize that he is an angel of death so nobody knows 
those who were standing on the stage they don't know or the audience also don't know that this is an angel of death so angel of death was there standing near the sand and the old woman was already dump there in the sandbox or you can say in the sand and mummy and daddy are waiting for her to die whereas the musician was playing the music to make her die early or you can say he started playing the sad music so uh, like to convey the message that they are getting eager to make her to listen the news of her death so at those the, that is the situation and then suddenly grandmother get a change a transformation in herself not a body transformation or you can say a physical transformation it is only a mental transformation she was like she little bit she moved from her place and she sat properly into the sandbox and she has seen to everyone and she got an idea that this mummy and daddy would never listen to her because they are too far and the music is loud so she started speaking to the audience what she said and how she started feeling and what are the frustrations of her we will read out or we will get the explanation in the next class before that ending the this this particular class i wish everyone to understand this don't take it very easy to read like oh just as a boring one it's not boring one it has a very deep message to understand and it is being especially taken in your syllabus because you are a growing ones and you have to face the future so that is actually uh, means you can say the concept of putting this into your syllabus so go ahead with that i have already given you the glossary as well as i hope you have understood till here very well in the next class we'll continue the explanation of what the grandmother's messages are or what she wanted to convey to us okay by the time take care have a nice day